morning guys, it is Saturday and you're getting a daily vlog today. Excuse my hair, I slept on it while it was wet and it's kind of got a bit, I don't, I don't know, but we're just rolling with it today. Um, I've done my makeup, it's my naked heat palette, I kind of went a little bit plain on the lid and then smoky in the crease. We are off pumpkin picking today and we are very excited. We went last year and I made a daily vlog out of it last year, about to go around and round about. Um, I made a daily vlog of it last year and we um, had about 18 minutes of footage so hopefully this year is going to be quite an extensive vlog as well. I didn't want to couple it on the end of the weekly vlog because I thought it would be too long so I decided I would make it into a separate one and it gives me a chance to try out vlogging for December and vlogmas as well. And yeah, so although it's Saturday now you're probably seeing this on about Tuesday or Wednesday um, just because of upload times and stuff like that. But yeah, we're off pumpkin picking. I'm wearing my burgundy jacket again, which I am kind of obsessed with at the minute. Um, but I don't really have a lot else to say right now. I will update you once we get there and show you around and let you follow us on our day. So we have arrived and I just want to show you, look, we can see the sunrise. Where's my finger? There. And like the remnants of it, it's like half past nine in the morning and we can still see the sunrise. I told you that it's definitely like autumn because it's only just technically getting light which is crazy but we're here so I'm going to update you once we get into the field and stuff and I will show you a little bit of our day so last year we bought the biggest pumpkins we could find in this field and we're on that mission again this year because apparently we're going to carve them I'm going to film it again so I'm with my beautiful husband and we're on the search for the biggest pumpkins don't know what we can find at the minute. I feel like they're holding back. I feel like we've got the small ones and we've got the medium sized ones, but have we got the huge ones? That's what we're on the lookout for. Lots of cute baby ones, but not so many big ones. So we have picked our first pumpkin and this is it. We might potentially pick different ones. We could always potentially swap it out, but this is the one my husband picked so far. And I'm gonna see if I can get one that's equally as big to carve. So a couple of the pumpkins in this field look like they've already been carved. So this one's got a face on it, it looks like a jack-o'-lantern. And then if we come over this way, I feel like this one looks like it's got a face on too. How cool is that? So, so far, this one's my husband's pumpkin and this is the one that I've just picked up. And I'm kind of thinking this one might be the one. There's still lots and lots of big ones in this field. So potential we might swap them, but so far so good. We like these ones. We're going to have a little bit more of a wander around. There's so many white pumpkins in this field. Like, look at all these white pumpkins. That's insane. It's like, honestly, crazy. I love the white ones so much. They look so good. But I think we're going to stick to classic orange ones and see how we get on with those. I think they're a little bit more traditional. So I'm going to keep having a wander and see what we can find. Look how baby all of the white ones are. Like, they're so cute, I can't even believe it. I kinda just want them, look at them next to these. Even this one looks big compared to these. The little orange ones. So we were both freezing, we stopped off and had a breakfast, like breakfast slash brunch kind of thing. We both had a bacon cob and well you guys might have actually liked to watch me eat it and done a little mukbang, I don't think that's the kind of thing we're going to do in pumpkin fields. So we have, like I showed you, we've got the two um, pumpkins, we're going to have a scout round, see if we can find any others or any different ones. And yeah, we are currently on the second round of the pumpkin patch trying to see what we can find. So I don't know if I'm the only person in the world that's never seen a pumpkin flower in real life, but I'm pretty sure that's what this is. I just thought I'd document it just so that you could see. I'd love to come somewhere that you can cut them off the actual like vines, but I don't think there's anywhere near us that does that. So if you know of anywhere in the East Midlands, do let us know because I'd love to do that next year. So we were just saying that last year we feel like there was a lot more bigger pumpkins. We definitely got huge ones last year. I think they weighed about 20 kilograms. I can't be 100% sure without going back and actually watching my vlog. But if you saw last year's vlog, you'll know that they were actually massive. And I did pumpkin carving. So if you want to see those, I'll link those both in the cards. They're on my main channel though. 
um, and obviously this is on my vlog channel now because I have a vlog channel now um, but we're kind of scouting out the field and we came sort of a week earlier last year so we don't know if people have been and took the biggest ones or if we just are more aware of the size of the pumpkins this year because last year we bought them and we thought these aren't that big and then we got them in the car and thought these are really big we got them home and we were like these are huge oh no and I titled my, vi my video something like buying the world's biggest pumpkin or something buying the biggest pumpkin and it, they pretty much were the biggest pumpkins we could find here and I remember people commenting on my video and saying that it featured after Logan Paul's video last year where he like bought an actually huge pumpkin and like climbed inside of it and stuff I didn't know who Logan Paul was until that point but apparently it featured after his video and it got me quite a few views and people explaining that to me and I don't think it got me many subscribers but you know I don't think I'm on quite the same wavelength as Logan Paul so that's probably why I've just felt my pocket to realise that my vlog camera's not in there and had a mini heart attack and realise I'm looking at it but that's what we're currently doing scouting the field I would like maybe like a squash or something you know to try and cook with We've picked up a tiny pumpkin, but I don't know if it's the one we're going to keep or if we're going to swap it. My husband has, where is he, found a pumpkin that he's eyeing up. So we're going to potentially see if that's any bigger or of a better size for carving. I've not decided what I want to carve on mine this year. I carved Jack's skeleton on it last year. If you have any comments, ideas or suggestions on what I should carve on my pumpkin, we will be making a video of it again this year. Do let me know in the comments because I would be properly interested to know because I'm not sure what I want to do. Do you know what you're carving on yours this year? No. No? No, we've got no idea. So if you've got any suggestions or ideas on what we should carve on our pumpkins, do let us know. And yeah, I suppose just, yeah, I kind of want a hot drink. I am freezing cold. I suppose it's like nearly the end of October, it's the 20th of October today. I've got no gloves, no hat, just a t-shirt. Oh, look at my t-shirt. Can you vlog my t-shirt, please? It says spooktacular because it's like Halloween and, well, it's not exactly Halloween, but it's nearly Halloween. And I thought I would wear my Halloween theme top. I wore my Sweeney Todd one last last week. We went for a walk in the forest because I thought Sweeney Todd is kind of Halloween-ish. It's not quite Halloween, but I mean, he's murdering people. So that is always a bit more Halloween-y wearing this one today because I don't think we're doing anything in particular for Halloween and obviously it's 20th I've got like 11 days I can put it through the wash and stuff I'll be fine but I just thought for a day out it was quite nice um we're taking some pictures in the field my husband was just taking pictures of me vlog vlogging um we're taking pictures in the field oh my god a huge conker <laughs> look at the size of this conker next to my head <laughs> um we're taking pictures in the field my husband's got my DSLR and yeah basically we're just I don't know, milling around. Might go and get a coffee because I really want a coffee. But I ordered bacon cobs and now my husband has to order hot drinks because that's how it works and I don't like talking to people. But he's giving me this look because he doesn't want to go and order drinks. But I don't want to go and order drinks, but I want a drink. I'll pay for it. He says I'll pay. Is that a good enough compromise? I mean, I'm also paying for the He's also paying for the pumpkins. And he paid here. for uh, and he paid for the bacon. He paid for the bacon cards <laughs> and he drove us here. But if you know from last week's video, my car's actually broken. It's at the garage, it failed its MOT. But it's been fixed, so I can't actually drive us here because I don't have a car. And I'm not insured on my husband's car either, so if I drove his car, uninsured, we might lose the car. <laughs> so yeah, we will update you when we have something better to say but this is the pumpkin that my husband's picked so we're gonna get rid of one of these this one is my husband's and this one's my husband's this one is mine and there's our baby one in the corner but he doesn't know which one he wants yet so we're gonna kind of do a bit of comparing and see which one we think's best as I say we don't know what we're gonna carve on them either so we're just trying to give us the optimum carving space for whatever we decide we might want to do but it's what we've got so far. So do you remember me saying that we might potentially swap my husband's pumpkin? Because if we found a big one, he would probably want a big one. How do you feel about your pumpkin before we show them it? <laughs> okay, so now that you've seen that, we were gonna buy one at like eight pound. Then my husband saw this one and was like, I'm gonna swap it. So I'll show you what this pumpkin looks like. So if we remember this is my pumpkin, this is my husband's pumpkin. This, it was, his was about this size too, and he swapped it for this. It's huge. Remember last year's catastrophe? Well, I think we're gonna have the same problem. 
guys, so we have done at the farm now. We're on, in the car. We are actually heading to my husband's sister's, but I'm probably not gonna vlog when we get there. Um, we popped into the shop after we bought our pumpkins and we got some bits. They have a really nice shop there. It's got lots of like little, sort of like cute little like gifts and food and stuff like that. I got a little ghost meringue because he was very cute and he was too cute to sleep. It was like 30p and I was like, that'll be a nice little treat later. We got a bottle of gin for my friend's birthday. It's strawberry and vanilla, I think. So I think she'll really, really like that. She loves gin. And flavored gins are really nice as well because it gives you a little bit of something different, doesn't it, to, um, to have. And I got some pumpkin pie coffee syrup because I love coffee syrups and, you know, pumpkin season of. Um, and, oh, we got some honey as well for my husband's granddad because he really likes honey, so really nice and yeah we're basically just on our way back our pumpkin is strapped in in the seat behind me and we've got one in the boot ready to be carved at some point over the next week or two not sure exactly when we're going to carve them but as I say I'll probably make a video out of it anyway so you'll get to see that we need to come up with some ideas first so I'm not really sure what they're going to be but yeah we are on our way back now and I will update you when Today, but I'll probably just keep this vlog going for the whole day and see where we end up but yeah I shall catch up with you later so we've just got home and we've been to see my sister-in-law we're home now and I thought we'd just give you a quick overview of what we bought from the shop so I've not got my little mango because it's in the kitchen but I will show you that all in due time I'll probably show you that when I eat it later but the first thing I picked up was pumpkin pie syrup for coffee. I absolutely adore coffee syrups and I have a coffee machine. So I have like lattes and like cappuccinos and stuff that I can just make um, out of my coffee machine. And I, just, I always like having the syrups. I bought some last year like caramel and white chocolate flavour and stuff like that. I'm sat next to my advent calendar by the way. So I'm a little bit squished but you know just kind of plunk myself down. Um, so I've got the um, pumpkin pie um, syrup for coffee, it says add to coffee, add to milkshakes, it says it's 250ml, it says it makes 12 cups but I suppose that's give or take depending on how much you actually put in your drink. I'm covered in mud as well because we just brought the pumpkins in. Um, it just says time for a break, turn on the kettle, it's time to unwind, mix 20ml of pumpkin pie syrup into 180ml of black or milk coffee and it's made in New Zealand apparently this is so this is um, quarterpass.com is the brand of this. I've obviously not sponsored, I just picked it up in the farm shop. <laughs> um, we also got some Nottinghamshire honey. This is for my husband's granddad. This is just like spreadable honey. We bought him some last year and I think we bought, I can't remember if we bought this one or if we bought one that had got the actual honey came in because that was really interesting. You don't see that many places. I'm just looking at my makeup. It smudged this morning, I was so mad. Um, but yeah, we bought this. So this is Nottinghamshire. The place that we went is called Max's Farm Shop and we're in the East Midlands. And that was in, it's in Newark, I think. So we've driven a decent way from where we actually live because we live a little bit out the way. Um, it's a decent way from where we live, but we think it is the best. We'd looked up places to go last year and that came out as one of the top ones. So we just like, we thought, Do you know what, we'll just drive there, see if it's all right and see what happens. And we've done the same today. So that is what we did. And then the gin I was on about is by a brand called Two Birds, which I've never heard of. But I'm not a massive gin drinker. It's only recently that I've realized that I do actually like gin because I thought I didn't like gin. It turns out, I don't like tonic. So when people make you a gin and tonic and I'm like, you kind of drink it and you're like, this is this is not really enjoyable. It's the tonic I don't like. So if you mix it with lemonade, it's actually pretty nice. And this is strawberry and vanilla, which I think um, my friend will actually really like. So that'll be quite interesting. But they're the things that we bought today and I just thought I would show them to you because sometimes just telling you is not the most exciting. We're just about to get some things together. We're gonna pop over and see Grant's grandparents, which is obviously my husband Grant, if you didn't already know. And then he's smiling in the background. Um, and then yeah, I've got, I'm going out this evening. I'm not gonna actually vlog this evening just because by the time I go out, I already want to have this vlog kind of roughly edited. I have got a lot of stuff to do. Um, I've got to import all the footage off this memory card of yesterday's vlog. 
uh, well like last week's weekly vlog it, as it will be for now and I don't know logistically whether I'll have space and the capacity and I'm going to somebody else's house and I feel really really awkward about vlogging at people's houses and so it's just kind of not going to happen right now it's um, one of those things but I am um, don't know I might kind of put you in my handbag and if anything exciting happens on the way there or on the way back or if there's anything I want to tell you I can but yeah I don't know <laughs> I'm gonna go and I shall speak with you all later I'm tempted to make a coffee and put it in a travel mug because I've not had a coffee all day My husband's looking at me like, but I could try, I could try my new syrup. <laughs> I don't know, I'm gonna go. I'll, I'll update you if I have a coffee or not. Hey everyone, so it is now Sunday morning. I have just edited my weekly vlog completely. It's rendering, ready to upload this evening. And I've edited my pumpkin picking vlog. However, I realized that I did not have an ending to my pumpkin picking vlog because I didn't actually film anything else in the evening. By the time we'd popped out, it was kind of like a bit of a rush. We went to see um, my husband's grandparents, then we picked my mum up and then I went out and then I came back and then by the time I got home, it was just, I just wanted to go to bed. So I thought I would just give you a little update now. It's, um, yeah, as I say, it's Sunday. We're kind of just having one of those days where we do all the washing for the week and I've got some house bits to do, we've got to go food shopping in a second and all that kind of stuff. So I'm not actually going to vlog for the rest of the today, I will start my weekly vlog up again on Monday and you will see that next weekend. But yeah, I just wanted to kind of give it a little ending. I'm very, very excited to carve our pumpkins, we haven't said what day we're doing that yet but as I say it will be a video slash vlog kind of thing. I'm not sure if it'll go up on here or on my main channel but I will update you and let you know. And yeah, I'm really, really excited. I didn't actually try my pumpkin pie coffee syrup yesterday, so I'll have to try that today and I will feed back at some point. Or I might try it tomorrow and test it on camera and do a little vlog insert of me trying it. But I thought I would just update you and let you know what I was up to and yeah, just kind of round off my video. I had so much fun pumpkin picking. I love going. As I say, if anyone's got any recommendations of anywhere in the East Midlands where you actually get to cut them off the stalk, do let me know because I'd love to do that. I don't know if that's something we can actually do in the UK. I'm sure I've seen it somewhere that we can, that somewhere in the UK does it, but I don't actually know. So I, yeah, if you have any um, recommendations of anywhere in the East Midlands to go for like Halloween or pumpkin or anything themed, do let me know because as I say, we're always on the lookout for things to do and especially next year because you know, if we're vlogging the exact same thing every year and going to the same place pumpkin picking, that might get a little bit boring for you guys. Although it will be slightly different, we'll have different pumpkins and buy different things. But, you know, just, yeah. If you've got any comments or ideas or suggestions of places to go, do let me know in the comments. And we still have a little bit of time left for Halloween, so if you've got anything you can suggest in the East Midlands that you think will be great, do let me know. And, yeah. I hope you have enjoyed the pumpkin picking vlog. Let me know if you've got any pumpkins this year because, you know, I like the idea of carving pumpkins and things like that. So, yeah, let me know what you're dressing up for as Halloween as at Halloween as well because I'm not actually going out or going anywhere on Halloween. But I'd still love to know what you're dressing up as because if I was going anywhere, I would have no idea what to dress up as this year. Not that I ever dress up any year, but you know. So do let me know and yeah, if you have enjoyed the video do give it a thumbs up, it would mean the absolute world to me. If you are new here, don't forget to click the subscribe button, that would mean the world to me too. I'm about to go and import this, get dressed and do a food shop. So I shall catch up with you next week in my weekly vlog. Bye!